guys, it's Court and welcome to my channel. I've been watching YouTube for such a long time now and I've been wanting to start my very own channel so now I finally worked up the courage to do so. I got my start in makeup last year whenever I was at my old college. I used to watch YouTube all the time like just makeup videos, tutorials and just all these different videos that you could even imagine. I started off with Laura Lee, Manny MUA and those types of people. But then over the summer I actually got a job at Ulta Beauty as a prestige beauty advisor and that just sparked my love for makeup even more. So now I just decided to start a YouTube channel because unfortunately I don't work at Ulta anymore so this is kind of like a creative outlet for me to use. Well today I wanted to start things off with my everyday makeup routine. I know you guys have probably seen this video thousands and thousands and thousands of times but this is one of my favorite videos to see just because I'm curious like what people use in their everyday product so stay tuned for the video. I will be honest with you guys I do not wear makeup every day I go from school to work and then back home so my day is usually like 12 to 14 hours long and my I just don't like to wear makeup all the time just because I'm lazy in the morning and it's just gets to be a hassle during the day. So this, if I would wear makeup every day, this would definitely be my look for that. So first I like to start off with moisturizer on my face. This is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. It's more of a creamy texture, so if you have dry skin, this would be good for you. I have like combination oily skin, so I could either do like a gel or a cream product for my moisturizer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit like this size, rub it in. And I gently run it, rub it into my skin, pat it under my eyes, and get on my forehead. My cheeks are so red all the time, so just rubbing this into my face makes it more red. And it's just really aggravating, but you know, it's okay. And if I keep looking down, it's because there's a mirror right here. So the next step that I like to do is prime. My holy grail is the Smashbox Pore Minimizer. I love this primer. It is the best primer in the entire world. So what I'll do is take a little bit on my fingers. In this primer, it basically just smooths over your whole face. So like if you have big pores, this would be really, really good for you because I have really big pores on my nose. So I think about that size. Just rub it in like the moisturizer. I've heard a lot of people call this like Photoshop in a bottle pretty much just because it smooths over your whole face and makes it look pretty flawless. So with my damp Morphe sponge, this is the best sponge in the entire world. I have never used like the beauty blenders or anything just because I'm like on a budget, you know, and these are only $7. And I've heard like all the beauty gurus talk about them like James Charles, Jeffree Star, like all of those people. And this is by far their favorite sponge. And I can definitely see why because it's amazing. Whenever you wet it, it grows like twice the size than what it is. Sorry, mine's a little dirty right now, but it's huge and it just covers so much. Like, look at that compared to my face. Like, it's pretty big. So, what we're going to do with that is we're going to take the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced. I am shade Pearl. I actually got this foundation whenever I was working at Ulta on my last day. The people from Too Faced came in for an event and they color matched us all and, like, gave us some free products from Too Faced, which was like super, super, super cool. And I ended up really, really liking this foundation. It retails for $39. I mean, it is like a little pricey, but I swear it's worth it. It's for skin, like all skin types. It has a flawless finish to it and it's amazing. So what I like to do is put two pumps, two or three pumps on the back of my hand like so. And then just kind of let it spread out a little bit. Then I'll take my damp Morphe sponge and dab a little bit in there and then I'll just dab all over my face and just bounce it into the skin and press. I have tried lots and lots and lots and lots of foundations over the couple years that I have been interested in makeup and this is by far my absolute favorite. And whenever I did work at Ulta, this was the number one foundation that I would recommend to everybody. And this coverage for this is buildable on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Since my cheeks are so red and they always peek through like you can already see they're kind of peeking through there what i'll do is i'll take like one more pump on my hand like this and then i will blend a little more into my cheeks just to get that color to go away make sure you blend down into your neck 
so there's no harsh lines like right here on your jawline. So now that we're all blended, we're gonna get right into concealer. The concealer that I use is Tarte Shape Tape. This is the absolute best concealer I've ever used in my entire life. There's nothing like it. There's dupes that are pretty good, I'd say, but this definitely beats it all. I am shade light, and again, this product is kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth the money just because you get that full coverage look. But I will admit that it is very drying, so if you have dry skin, you might wanna try a different concealer. And a little product goes a long way with this, so I can get all the concealer that I need just on one dip. So now I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge again and blend this all together. my rosiness in my cheeks so that's another reason why I love this product so much so now that we're all blended together I do like to set this product my favorite powder to set this with is the LA girl pro face HD matte pressed powder I think it is only like five or six dollars but is definitely one of the best setting powders I've ever used I was using the Makeup Revolution banana setting powder for a really long time but I actually didn't really like it because I'm not a big loose powder person plus it kind of made my skin yellow but that definitely could have been the shade that I was using so what I will do is I will take this on a brush here I'm not sure what these brushes are named I got them off of Amazon for like 13 or 14 dollars they're like rose gold and they have like the marble so I instantly love them because I love the marble print and the rose gold together. So this pat right here, and just take it and press under my eyes. That way my concealer doesn't begin to crease. And I'll do the same thing on the other eye. With a fluffier brush, I'm gonna take this one from e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. It's just a big fluffy brush like this. I will just dip my brush in here, rub in a circle, tap off the excess, and just blend all over my face. What I like to do after that is I like to take my sponge again and just press the powder into my skin. That way you get a more airbrushed look with that. For the next step in my makeup routine are my eyebrows. The products I use are the 24 hour brow setter. This is just like a mini sample size of it. And then I also use the Benefit Give, or Gimme Brow, sorry, and it's in shade three. Then, before I start my eyebrows, I like to brush it out with a spoolie. So I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is like whenever I wanna go for like a more dramatic brow, I'll use this pencil. But for now, I'm just gonna use the little spoolie. take my gimme brow in shade three and then I'll just slightly comb it through my eyebrows and I will do the same on the other eyebrow before this product I actually used the Tarte busy gal brow it's kind of like a knockoff of the gimme brow okay so now that the product is on both eyes we're gonna take a couple seconds just for it to dry and then I'm gonna set with the 24 hour brow setter so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just comb through my brows and make sure they are set in place. I'm actually gonna go into contour next. I don't really go with cream contour and just sculpt out my face. I just put a little bronzer on to give myself some color. So I actually use the Park Avenue Princess palette from Tarte. I know that these shades aren't in order, but whenever I lived up at my old house, I actually dropped it. Thank goodness nothing broke. I'm not sure if this is in the right place, but the shade I use the most is Princess Cut, this one here. It's just a matte cool tone bronzer shade. So what I'll do is I'll do the 3E method, and I know those who have watched beauty videos before know what I'm talking about. And then I'll go up into my forehead, and blend up here, and blend down where I began the contour. I will bring it down into my jawline. Now I'm just gonna go in one more time with the excess bronzer. And then if the line is a little harsh, like I feel like it's looking a little harsh, I'll just take my beauty sponge and blend it together. 
so we don't have that harsh line. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, now that we're bronze, we're gonna go into blush. So because I do have rosy cheeks, I'm not that big of a blush person. So I like to use more of like a more natural pinky blush just to give me kind of like a sun-kissed look so I don't look as flat on my face. So I go in with this Tarte blush. It is called Feisty. I do believe this was like limited edition or something because I have looked for like the full size of this and I haven't been able to find it anywhere unfortunately. But it's more of like a peachy, like bronzy toned br blush. So let me take my blush brush. And this is again one of those like rose gold marble brushes from Amazon. Not sure how, I'm not sure what they're called, where they're from, but I absolutely love them. And then I will smile because you want to put the blush on the apples of your cheeks. I love the look of having like a little sunburn. I think that is so adorable. But you know what we forgot to do? We actually forgot to contour the nose a little bit. So what I will do is I will take this brush. It's again one of those little marble rose gold brushes from Amazon. And I will take the same shade in that palette. Just take a little bit, tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna make a funny face just so I can get the good shape of my nose. <laughs> And then I will take a little bit and just dust it right here where the bridge of my nose ends and goes to my tip just to give like that little flick, the kind of like upturned nose kind of look. I think that's so cute too. So then, since I like to do highlight last. I know that's kind of weird for a bunch of people because a lot of people like to do it right after they finish their face. But I actually like to go into eyeshadow just in case if there's any fallout from the palette that I'll be using. That way it doesn't like blend into the highlighter and look kind of like weird. So my everyday palette that if I did wear makeup every day, I would probably use this one the most just because it's a cute natural palette and has a lot of shimmer shades that I like because I love glitter. And this is actually the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, and yes, it does smell like chocolate. You see inside. So, what I will do is, I'll take a blending brush. I got this one from the Morphe I Slay set from Ulta, whenever I worked there. It doesn't have a name on it, but it is like the fluffy blending brush in that set. So, the shade that I usually like to go in with first is called Mocha. It is this shade right here. So, what I will do is, I'm going to take a little bit on the blending brush off the excess and then I'm just gonna blend this all over my lid the other day I actually went into TJ Maxx and I have heard that they have like a lot of products like high-end products for super 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 cheap and I was not disappointed I actually went in and I found the Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette which is also part of this this set and I found it in at TJ Maxx for like $25 whenever it's originally $49. So of course I had to pick it up. So maybe in another video I can test that and try it out for you guys. And I just like to take this all over my lid. That way there's no problems whenever you go to blend other shadows in. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. pretty even with that so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in the shade malted which is this shade right there and go in on my crease just to deepen that up and give my eye some dimension so I'm gonna take this it's more of a firm blending brush it's from that same morphe eye slay set from Ulta just put that in my crease to deepen it up a bit I'm gonna take that same fluffy blending brush that I did use just to blend the harsh lines there. And then what I like to do is I like to put a shimmery shade right on my eyelid. So the one I've been loving from this palette is Cafe Late. We're gonna take this sparkly shade right here and I'm gonna take it on my finger just because I feel like a finger is the best way to apply some shimmer. I'm gonna take it on my middle finger here and just pat it on my eye. It's so pretty, I love it. I'm gonna do 
do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so then what I like to do is I like to kind of smoke out the lower lash just to bring the eyeshadow together. I don't like to do a dramatic like some people like to do, but I like to do a little bit. That way it just ties the look together. So I'm going to take that mocha shade, this one right here, and just blend it under and bring it up. Okay, so now you can see that it's all kind of tied together. It's into one. And another reason why I chose like the more brownie neutral colors is because my eyes are really, really blue. So whenever I wear like brown eyeshadows or like purple eyeshadows, it just makes my eyes go like super, super blue. You can probably tell just because I'm facing the light. And so after that, what I like to do is I like to get a little pencil brush like this. This is from the Morphe Eye Slay set. Oh, and that br brush that I used to like smoke out my lower lash line, it's the e.l.f. Eye Crease Brush. I know it could be used as a crease brush, but I also think it's like the perfect size just to smoke out that lower lash line. But anyways, for the inner corner, we're going to use this brush. It does so I'm going to take the same shade, Cafe O La La Late, I don't know. <laughs> just put a little bit of that on my inner corner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna go into mascara. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do not like to wear false lashes. Trust me, they're nice whenever you're going for like a glam look or like going just to post a makeup look on Instagram, but let's face it, every day not all of us are gonna wear some fake eyelashes. So what I like to do is just curl my eyelashes, even though I know it is bad for you, and use some pretty good mascaras just to build up that. So what I'm gonna do first is just curl the lashes. And then I'm going to take this eyelash primer from Mally. I don't know if you've heard of the brand. It's more like an indie brand that they put in at Ulta. I don't think it's selling at our Ulta anymore in Altoona. But one of the girls that worked for Mally, that worked with me whenever I did work at Ulta, she gave me like a little gift set for like of Mally products. Maybe we could do like a video of testing those products. So I really haven't been able to play with them much, just this product here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take it like normal mascara on my eyes. And it is inserted with fiber, so it does help to make your eyelashes grow. Okay, so after that primer is on, I'm going to take Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. This is one of the best mascaras that I have ever used. It just like, makes your eyelashes look longer and it kind of separates them so it doesn't all clump together. I do like to use this one first. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So one eye is done. We're going to go and do the other. little base on I like to take the ruler lash from Benefit and this is my favorite mascara in the entire world it is the best it is so volumizing it curls your lashes does everything that you could ask for so I'm gonna go ahead and put a top layer of that on just to give me some more volume it is finally time for highlight <laughs> my favorite highlighter in the entire world is the Anastasia Ambrisi highlighter it's this pretty golden shade it is absolutely stunning so what I like to do first actually is I like to set my face just so I have like that kind of wet base on before I put the highlight on so I'm gonna take the Milani make it last setting spray and I know this is a drugstore brand but I absolutely love this setting spray it's very comparable to the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this all over my face. And while this is still wet, I'm gonna take this highlighting brush from Mint Pear. I do believe I got it in an Ipsy bag. It's the M64 brush, it just looks like this. Like this. And then I'm just gonna lightly put it on. And see, you can already see that glow. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna take the end that I didn't put the highlight on just to blend it in. And I also like to put a little bit up here in my forehead. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I also take like to take a little bit right down the center of my nose. And then just to finish it off, I'll just put a little more setting spray on. 
just to set that all in. And then for the last step of my makeup routine are the lips. And I'm not a big lipstick person just because as you can see my lips aren't very like full. So I kind of get insecure about them. So I usually don't really touch them at all. But lately I've been loving the NYX, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in shade Sandstorm. It's more like a natural shade like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. going to take this little mini sample of a long comb lipstick it's in the shade sheer it's a absolute rouge lipstick and it's like a matte but it goes on so creamy and it doesn't like dry your lips it's very moisturizing I would say so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I love this because it's a very natural color it's just a very pretty pinky color all right you can see it kind of still looks a little glossy just because it goes on so creamy and i love that all right so this is my everyday makeup look i hope you guys enjoy i absolutely love it the eye look looks so pretty well make sure you like comment and subscribe and also if you would like to see more videos like what types of videos you'd like to see make sure you comment down below and let me know also please follow me on all of my socials i'll have those linked in the bio and i'll have them probably popping up on the screen if i can i'm gonna try for that all right well i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching